Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today we are going to be doing a meal prep. This was kind of impromptu. I meal prep every week, but I never record it, and when I first started doing meal prep, I found these types of videos incredibly useful. I felt that it had a lot of information. As you know, we are a family of four. My husband takes his lunch to work, and I, excitingly enough, recently just started a new job. So I am working from home and I am at the computer. So I need a lot of grab and go things from the refrigerator, things that I can do quickly and things that I can make for my toddler and eight month old that will make my mom life a little bit easier while working at the same time. It is your typical 40 hour work week. So I don't have a lot of time to prepare fresh meals like I normally would. So I'm just gonna take you along with me, show you what we have going on in the kitchen. Typically, I like to make a soup or a curry, and then I'm going to have some quinoa and rice on the side, and then I'm gonna show you some little hacks to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to working from home. I felt like this video would be super useful for some of you, so drop down in the comments if you liked it. As always, all of the recipes will be typed out down in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you are excited, let's get right into the video. We are going to start off with the night before and I am going to make some herb ice cubes. So what I have is some fresh herbs here and then I have some olive oil. I do have this old ice cube tray and I'm only going to be using half of that for these herbal ice cubes and then the other half I'm going to be using for some lemon ice cubes. Now I have some fresh basil here as well as some green onions. I was going to add rosemary but I just don't have any so these are really up to you whatever types of herbs you like. I really like sage dill is a really nice flavor to put in there or some oregano honestly these are so versatile i know i say that a lot but any herbs you want and some olive oil super easy to put together you're going to put them in the freezer overnight and you can add these to pastas quinoas veggies there's so many options for you out there to use these ice cubes And then for the other half of my tray, I like to, if I have time, just squeeze out all of my lemon juice with my juice press here and then fill up the other six cubes. And then I just put that in a mason jar, just one ice cube, fill the rest up with water with a little bit of that flour tincture that I like to use. I use the Be Efficient by Bach. And now I am moving on to some homemade hummus. I'm going to save the juice. It is called aquafaba. It has many uses. You can Google different recipes, but we are actually going to use them for something dessert-like. And then I am going to make a classic hummus here with some herbs. I'm gonna start off with some rinsed and drained chickpeas, some tahini, a little bit of olive oil, basil and green onion as well as a fourth cup of water you can add as much water you want to this hummus just because everybody likes their hummus at different consistencies and i am going to add some carrots on the side or cucumber i can serve it with crackers i can put it on toast or on a sandwich honestly i use hummus on everything i absolutely love it so i always have it in my meal prep for the week And now we are moving on to these protein brownies. I know aquafaba sounds really strange to put in these, but you cannot taste it, I promise you that. It does give it a little bit of an earthy consistency, but I will drop the recipe down below. You want to whip this 
aquafaba with your mixer here until you get stiff peaks is what I like to say kind of like a meringue if you were to make that and then you are going to melt that dark chocolate and put that in there as well as about two to three tablespoons of cocoa powder and then you are going to be adding some flour so about a half cup of flour about a third cup of cane sugar mix that all together until you get this brownie consistency i'm going to add hemp seeds to mine and a little bit of vanilla i know this was a tricky recipe but i kind of just went for it really just adding things as i went so i will type it out in the description box for you bake this at 375 for around 25 minutes and you are good to go So the brownies are out of the oven. I just put some dark chocolate chips to melt on top of it and they are super good. They kind of remind me of one of those cosmic brownies when you were kids. So you could definitely put some little sprinkles if you wanted this on here. But these are super tasty to have when you just need something quick. So we are going to start off with our soup. So I'm just taking a container of cherry tomatoes, a little bit of diced onion, roughly diced. I'm gonna do some roasted red pepper and then three cloves of garlic. And then I'm going to put some salt, pepper, basil, and a little bit of olive oil and roast this at 400 for around 30 minutes. And then I'm going to blend it with some coconut milk. You could use regular milk if you wanted, or you could just leave it as is and not add any liquid because the veggies here all release a lot of liquid. But I like mine a little on the thin side and I like to use it as a typical soup or just as a sauce. So this is a roasted red pepper and tomato soup. And I just wanted to say now that a lot of these recipes are basic. They are super simple because meal prepping is supposed to make your life a little bit easier and it doesn't have to be something complicated. So most of these recipes are going to be minimal ingredients, they are going to be budget friendly, and they are going to be healthy. So win, win, win in my book and let's get this soup in the oven. All right, here is the next recipe. It is going to be super clean, and I got a question a few videos back why I don't show labels. Honestly, it's a me thing. I think it looks nicer in a bowl, but here are my labels. This is what I'm using today. Um, the veggie stock from Simple Truth Kroger. I am doing half a box of Barilla Orzo. I'm gonna do a can of rinsed garbanzo beans with no salt added. I'm gonna do a half of a lemon juiced, one golden potato, and then some spinach and kale blend. This is a lemon chickpea orzo soup, so instead of a lemon chicken orzo soup. And my husband is just gonna add some shredded chicken to his when he's at work. This is super tasty, but it can get a little tasty tasteless if you don't season it right. So you need some onion powder, you're going to need some poultry seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then you are good to go. So the veggie stock lends a lot of flavor, but all of these flavors combined make a really tasty soup. You could put it with some sourdough bread or some crackers, you could leave it on its own, but this is super filling and the potato is key to make it filling. So definitely don't forget to add that one potato and I'm just going to put everything into my cast iron, toast the orzo a little bit before we do that, and it will be good to go. I'm going to leave it on a simmer for about an hour and then put it in a container, let it cool, and put it in the refrigerator for lunches this week. 
All right, so please don't mind the mess behind me. And then I do have one of the littles attached to me here. I'm just going to fry this orzo on a medium heat. So mine's at like four or five right now. And I'm gonna add some olive oil. Just kind of fry it up, get it a little toasty. I learned this from my friend Tamra over at Southern Life Everyday Life. I will link her channel below. I do that a lot though. So if you haven't checked her out by now, what are you doing with your life? Just going to stir it in there, get it toasty. Then after about four minutes or so, hi honey. One was playing in the dirt, so he came in. So after about four or five minutes, you're gonna start adding the rest of your ingredients. No touching. Alrighty, it has been about five minutes. I'm gonna add in my chickpeas. And you all will have to tell me if you like this style of video where it's kind of raw and unfiltered. Normally I like to clean up the kitchen a little bit before I do these, but I didn't have time and I kind of like this style where it's not really planned and you might hear some kids in the background. I feel like it's real life. So let me know if you like this style of video. And don't worry, she is farther from the stove than you think she is. She's not gonna catch a toe and nothing's gonna splatter up at her. So just mix in those chickpeas till they're well incorporated and now you're adding your potato. Go ahead and mix that all together. And I'm gonna add my veggie stock and my lemon, salt and pepper and spices. And I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for around an hour. And then at about 55 minutes, I'm gonna add the greens. They don't need any time to cook at all and they will wilt down. And it's just a nice little bitter element for this soup. So I also like to prep veggies. I like to do two different medleys, if you wanna call them that. And then I always have peas and corn in the freezer to add to different things. But this week we have some Brussels sprouts. I rinsed everything in the Thieves Veggie Cleaner from Young Living. Don't worry, I'm not gonna try and sell you oils, um, but I do use a lot of their products. I really love Young Living and over here we have some Brussels sprouts, we have an onion, we have some broccoli, one sweet potato, and orange bell pepper. So for each blend, I'm gonna put onions in it and then I'm gonna do broccoli and sweet potato and Brussels sprout and pepper. And that's what I'm just gonna do this week. Those are my favorite. I'm super excited, let me turn you around quick. All right, it's getting a little darker, so sorry about the lighting, but I am really excited because my local farmer's market is actually offering, again, their doorstep delivery, and they have just about everything you can think of, so I put in an order for that, and that will be here on Friday. If you want to see what kind of veggies I got, drop it down in the comments, and I can include that in a haul coming up, but I absolutely love their veggies. They're all like misfit veggies, so they're different shapes, different colors, different sizes, and I think that's really fun so I always like to support local one and I love organic veggies so I will drop down where I get all of that in the comments below when I get that order on Friday but I got just about everything so I am super excited for that but for right now these are the veggies that I'm going to use I'm gonna cut everything up and then I will put them in two separate bowls and it just makes my life so much easier that I don't have to chop veggies I can just stick it right into whatever recipe we're making Felt I'm done with the defense, throw back and climb over your fence, hide to show.
show, show you that I was a mess. So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off. That's what I told you soon enough. Everything started to change. Cause there's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. No living in the past. All right, so here is everything lined up. I apologize if you hear Mulan in the background. Um, but I did want to say I just combined that orzo and the tomato roasted red pepper, and this is phenomenal. So this is a great way to combine two things if you want to do that. And then I have the hummus over here. Just going to dip some carrots in there and some crackers. Those are already pre-made and good to go. Then I have my ice cube tray of lemon water and the herbs with olive oil. This is great to put on top of rice or even just to plop into the vegetables. Really great on pastas. Honestly, this is so versatile. You can put it on quinoa. Really wonderful. Encourage you to try these. And then I have the orzo, chickpea, lemon uh, soup pasta, whatever you want to call that. It kind of got a little thicker on me, which I don't mind. But if you do want some soup-like consistency, add some more veggie stock. And then we have the tomato and roasted red pepper sauce or soup or whatever you want it to be. I have some squash over here that I forgot to show you cutting up. So I put some squash in there, some Brussels sprouts underneath. So some orange bell pepper. And then over here I have onions on the bottom. I have some sweet potato and broccoli. And then here are my aquafaba protein brownies. These are super tasty. Like I said, they remind me of cosmic brownies. And this is my meal prep for the week. For breakfast, I usually just stick with some avocado toast and a smoothie. Smoothies don't take me that long to make and it's kind of like a routine and it's very therapeutic for me so I don't prep them. I just put the fruit in, into the Ninja Bullet and go from there. And then for dinners, I do like to wind down by cooking. I know I love cooking but um, I do like to wind down so I end up just putting a bunch of stuff together. So this is really just for lunch, breakfast and maybe a little bit of dinner here and there. Alrighty, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this meal prep and found some useful recipes for your week ahead. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye.